Okay, I'm back. So this time I'll be showing you a video. I don't know if my audio is okay, but this time we'll continue with the presentation and we will focus on the internal combustion engine. So they can classing engines, huh? But uh, ang kind ga atong i focus on will only be internal combustion engines. So let me show you a video first. A video of a video. Sounds weird, but asa na talapet. Okay. Let me show you a video first of how it works. Okay, so tanaw sa ta. I might give some comments later. <laughs> Take note ha, this is a four-stroke engine. Later on, I discuss na ko unsa ang mga kalahian sa uban ng options. But let me just show you this video first. A basic lesson in the fundamentals of a four-stroke EFI gas engine may be helpful to your understanding of mercury products. Here are the basic components of... Okay, EFI, ngayang dimension ka ganiha, is electronic fuel injection. Okay? EFI is electronic fuel injection. Kine kine, money actually an injector. Here are the basic components of every four stroke gas engine a piston, a connecting rod, a crankshaft. As the piston travels up and down in the cylinder, this lateral motion is turned into a rotating motion at the crankshaft. The longer the stroke of the piston, the larger the displacement of gas and air occurs in the cylinder. To propel that piston, we need to ignite a tiny bit of gas and a whole lot of air. This creates expansion inside the cylinder. The fuel delivery system consists of an air intake manifold, valves, intake and exhaust, a fuel injector, and a spark plug. A four-stroke engine is called a four-stroke because four up and down motions are needed to complete the cycle. In the first stroke, the piston travels downward as the intake valve opens in a mixture of air from the atmosphere and a metered amount of gas from the electronic fuel injector enter the cylinder. This is called the intake stroke. On the second stroke, the piston travels upward, compressing the air and fuel to make a highly combustible mixture. This is called the compression stroke. At this point, the spark plug fires, sending the piston downward from the expansion of the air and gas mixture. This is the combustion stroke. The fourth stroke is the exhaust stroke. As the piston travels upward, the exhaust valve opens to release the burned air-fuel mixture. When the piston reaches the top of this stroke, the intake valve opens and the cycle begins all over again. It takes one up and down motion or two strokes of the piston to create one revolution of the crankshaft. RPMs or revolutions per minute is how many times the crankshaft rotates within that minute. At wide open throttle the crankshaft may turn at 5000 RPMs or a dizzyingly 83 times per second. Meanwhile, the piston traveled up and down 166 times in that same second. Want to see how fast that is? Now, that's fast. Let's see it again. Amazingly, the four-stroke EFI engine does this smoothly, quietly, and reliably for years and years of operation. That's the end, no? Pero let me play it again. Para mas masabtan and then I'll play it A basic lesson in the fundamentals of a four-stroke EFI gas engine may be helpful to your understanding of mercury products. Here are the basic components of every four-stroke gas engine. A piston, a connecting rod, a crankshaft. As the piston travels up and down in the cylinder, this lateral motion is turned into a rotating motion at the crankshaft. The longer the stroke of the piston, 
the larger the displacement of gas and air occurs in the cylinder. To propel that piston, we need to ignite a tiny bit of gas and a whole lot of air. This creates expansion inside the cylinder. The fuel delivery system consists of an air intake manifold, valves, intake and exhaust, a fuel injector, and a spark plug. A four-stroke engine is called a four-stroke because four up and down motions are needed to complete the cycle. In the first stroke, the piston travels downward as the intake valve opens and a mixture of air from the atmosphere and a metered amount of gas from the electronic fuel injector enter the cylinder. This is called the intake stroke. On the second stroke, the piston travels upward, compressing the air and fuel to make a highly combustible mixture. This is called the compression stroke. At this point, the spark plug fires, sending the piston downward from the expansion of the air and gas mixture. This is the combustion stroke. The fourth stroke is the exhaust stroke. As the piston travels upward, the exhaust valve opens to release the burned air-fuel mixture. When the piston reaches the top of this stroke, the intake valve opens and the cycle begins all over again. It takes one up and down motion or two strokes of the piston to create one revolution of the crankshaft. RPMs or revolutions per minute is how many times the crankshaft rotates within that minute. At wide open throttle, the crankshaft may turn at 5,000 RPMs or a dizzyingly 83 times per second. Meanwhile, the piston traveled up and down 166 times in that same second. Want to see how fast that is? Now, that's fast. Let's see it again. Amazingly, the four-stroke EFI engine does this smoothly, quietly, and reliably for years and years of operation. Okay. Uh, here's another animation. Explain it shortly later, huh? Then I'll... Mona Shang ends uh, presentation, pero balikan ako. Before we move forward, uh, just to give you a rundown, um, taganta mo ka idea gamay. Before nakuto yung discuss in detail. Okay, so, engines may tong diskutan, di ba? Ito sa ni para na atay. Katong engine kaganiha is atong gisgutan kaganiha is a four stroke engine. So basically ang engines comes in two flavors. So natay ICE o ECE. So ICE is internal combustion engine ang ECE is ang external po na siya external combustion engine. So, katong kaganiha nga na animation, nga video showed you at internal combustion engines. Okay, engines ha can be two, cut, two types. An internal combustion or an external combustion engine. An internal combustion engine is an engine wherein ang fuel air mixture is burned inside the cylinder. Kaganiha na iskutan tong cylinder. Balikan ako shortly later. External combustion engines are those nga ang burning sa fuel air mixture happens outside of the cylinder. So something else is pushing the piston. We will not cover that one. So ang perfect example of an external combustion engine is katong mga trains sa una locomotives. Let me show you. I don't know if you can. I can show you locomotive. Katong train. Uh, Nama siguro yung mga videos mo. So, locomotive train. Mga duha kabuok katong mga steamers. Okay, duha kabuok aso. Na siya aso nga puti. Na po siya aso nga itom. So, these are external combustion engines. Anyway, I don't want to give much attention on this one. But mainly, the, the difference between an ECE and an ICE is that Ang internal combustion engine, ang burning of fuel 
happens inside the cylinder. So, kani, mo ni siya dire solod ang cylinder. Ako lang elaborate later. External combustion engine, okay, the burning of fuel happens outside of the cylinder. Okay, usani nga pagbahig. Focus your attentions on ICE. Ang ICEs na ay gitawag nga two-stroke cycle na apoy four-stroke cycle na internal combustion engines. Perfect examples is kaning motor lang yun siguro atong daog-daog na motor lang atong daog-daog na. Pwede siya two-stroke cycle, pwede four-stroke. Ang two-stroke cycle, ang example na itong Yamaha nga na ay otolob pero dili na ito ni Taganog much attention. I will discuss this one partly, gamay. Pero mostly, our attentions will be focused on this one. Okay? An internal combustion engines could also... Kining strokes, by the way, it, it depends on the number of strokes to finish one cycle. No? An ICE could be a diesel engine. Pwede po siya pwede po siya gasoline engine. So, depende siya sa fuel. That's clear. Another po, pwede po tag single cylinder engine. Single cylinder or multiple cylinder. So, daghan siya. So, mga sakyanan. Karon, atong attention is we will focus our attentions on an internal combustion engine nga single cylinder nga gasoline okay nga four stroke okay so this particular example nga atong i-discuss nga engine is a four stroke cycle engine a uh, single cylinder gasoline engine okay okay so Daghan pa mang klase. We will just focus our attention on this. Okay. I'm going to play this one again. And then, i-pause na ko, then i-explain, then play again, then pause, then explain. Okay? Nasaan ito? A basic lesson in the fundamentals of a four-stroke EFI gas engine. Okay, again, ha? EFI is electronic fuel injection. This is the fuel injector. Now, some engines does have a carburetor or carburetor. Kung FI na siya or EFI, wala na siya carburetor. Kung na siya carburetor, dili siya EFI. So anyway, basically, a fuel injector injects the fuel dito unya musod ang hangin a carburetor on the other hand katong usa ka example ang next slide ani is ang fuel ug ang air is mixed inside the carburetor ang musulod dinhi this is the cylinder this is a cut away view by the way so untay na makina think of a motorcycle gabso na to sa tunga tunga you should see this one okay Nay labels akong punan niya. May be helpful to your understanding of mercury products. Here are the basic components of every four stroke gas engine a piston, a connecting rod, a crankshaft. As the. Okay. A crankshaft. So, piston. This is the piston. This is the connecting rod. This is the crankshaft. So, ang, crank, ang piston moves up and down up and down by Ganesha. It goes up, it goes down, up, down, up, down. Pinamdum ko sa three idiots, up, down, up, down, para sa sipper. This is the piston. And then the piston is connected to the crankshaft via a connecting rod. Okay? So, kumbaga, mura siya nag-ana, ya, mong ana siya. Ana yan, dagan. So, ang reciprocating motion sa piston nga up, down, is converted into rotary motion sa crankshaft by virtue of this connecting rod. 
okay all internal combustion engines even external combustion engines have a piston a connecting rod and a crankshaft maski on sa iyang fuel maski on sa iyang cycle okay shaft as the piston travels up and down okay it's going down no it's going down down in the cylinder this okay parts lang tayo ila ila sa ta again piston connecting rod crankshaft so basically a crankshaft is is like this so kani mo ni siya ang crankshaft kunuhay ang pen right now ang image nga that you can see is that it's like that okay and then it's rotating so kumbaga og aton nito yokon how am i going to show this para ma animate na ko better mm. sound ko man ha para you would see nga nagtuyok okay iya Okay, so money siyang ako lang yung nag-exaggerate libutangan akong papel. Okay, so right now, ang crankshaft, this one, kini, okay, is actually oriented that way. Okay, so ana siyang purma. Actually, nag-ana, nag-atubang sa camera. So, yung tuyok niya, ana yan tuyok. Okay, does that make sense? Ana. Okay, so Ana ha, so ayaw mo kalibog. So, ug ato ni siyang i-reorient kining crankshaft, this one. Okay, it should look something like that kung atong tuyokon from from facing us. Ana, so ang tuyok niya now is ana na. Okay? So, ang parts again ha. This is the piston kining itom din hi that you can find there are the piston rings and the oil rings tulo na siya normally okay this is the connecting rod this is the crankshaft kini mo ni siya gitawag ng barbula or valve okay it goes up and down ang valve mao ni siya kani is this is the intake manifold this is the exhaust manifold so intake manifold means anha mo agi ang intake gases exhaust manifold anha mugawas ang exhaust gases or burnt gases this is the valve the valve covers the intake manifold here's another valve that covers the exhaust manifold sometimes when it is pushed down mo open ang intake manifold what pushes it down kinisiya is the rocker arm ang rocker arm is pushed up and down by a push rod okay makita niyo sa animation lateral motion is turned into a rotating motion oh, oh, oh see you push siya okay you push siya down ini push down mo open ang exhaust manifold kung kini pod ang ma push down mo open pod ang intake manifold okay turn up the crankshaft oh so take note ha intake so during intake the piston is going down so, four-stroke cycle engine. So, there are four strokes to complete one cycle. The intake stroke, the compression stroke, the power stroke, and the exhaust stroke. Mauna siya nga gitawag siya nga four-stroke cycle engine. Again, intake stroke, compression stroke, power stroke, and exhaust stroke. Okay, so first intake. During the intake stroke, piston goes down. Okay, intake valve or the valve that closes and opens the intake manifold is being pushed down. Okay, so therefore, mo open ang intake manifold. Musulud ang air sa intake manifold ang electronic fuel injector injects fuel so karon air and fuel is being mixed inside this is the cylinder kung asa na himutang ang piston it's called the cylinder magmixness yeah it is going down so that's intake valve is open piston is going down 
fuel ug air musulod didto that's the intake the longer the stroke of the piston okay inig abot sa ubos that's one stroke from the babaw padung sa ubos ang pinaka lowest position sa piston is called the bottom dead center bottom dead center or bdc okay ang pinaka babaw nga position sa piston is called the top dead center okay or t d c ah so inig abot niya sa bottom dead center during the intake stroke mo close ang intake valve ang exhaust valve is still closed so since it is down na naman siya sa bottom dead center it has nowhere else to go but up so it will start Din. going up the larger the displacement of gas okay. and air occurs in the cylinder to okay so it's going up this is closed this is closed so do na nay fuel air mixture inside the cylinder and the piston is going up okay so what happens is iyang i-compress ang fuel air mixture so when it is moving up close ning a valve close ning a valve that's called the compression stroke the second stroke okay For again first stroke intake stroke second stroke compression stroke mao ni gipakita karon sa compression propel that piston we okay need to okay right before mo abot ang piston sa top dead center mo ignite ang spark plug still close pa nang duha okay to ignite at siga pag siga karon abot sa top dead center it's being pushed down it's a fuel air mixture kumbaga iyang gisilaban mi siga inig siga hot expanding gases okay close pa ang exhaust valve close pa ang intake valve hot expanding gases pushes the piston down that's the power stroke again intake kaganiha compression stroke then this time is the power stroke the piston is being pushed tiny bit of gas and a whole lot of air and then about the pushes of boss so actually inig about niya sa bottom dead center air. this look inig about sa bottom dead center it goes back up me open na ang exhaust valve okay this creates expansion so, inside the oh so iyang i push outside padulong na na sa tambot so mo na na makita na tong aso okay padulong siya sa tambot so that's the exhaust stroke again intake stroke fuel and air goes inside the cylinder open ang intake valve piston is going down inig abot sa bottom dead center close ang intake valve of exhaust valve piston slow going back up for the compression stroke inig abot sa babaw musiga ang spark plug masunog ang fuel air mixture okay i push niya ang piston down close ang intake valve and the exhaust valve inig abot sa ubos mo open ang exhaust valve piston starts going up burned gases goes out of the exhaust manifold that's the exhaust stroke four stroke cycle engine intake compression ignition or power then for exhaust cross the half cylinder the fuel delivery system consists of an air intake manifold okay that's the manifold Uy. sorry motions are needed to complete the cycle in the first stroke fuel injector and okay so that is spark plug fuel injector and i scoot on the na ha the spark plug a four stroke engine is called a four stroke because okay what the first we so go what good any the electronic fuel injector enter the cylinder this is are needed to complete the cycle in the first stroke the piston travels downward as the intake valve opens in a mixture of air from the atmosphere and a metered amount of gas from the electronic fuel injector enter the cylinder. This is called the intake stroke. On the second stroke, the piston travels upward, compressing the air and fuel to make a highly combustible mixture. This is called the compression stroke. At this point, the spark plug fires, sending the piston downward from the expansion of the air and gas mixture. This is the combustion stroke. Combustion or power stroke. The fourth stroke is the exhaust stroke. As the piston travels upward, the exhaust valve opens to release the burned air fuel mixture. 
When the piston reaches the top of this stroke, the intake valve opens and the cycle begins all over again. It takes one up and down motion or two strokes of the piston to create one revolution of the crankshaft. RPMs or revolutions per minute. Okay. Um, one motion sa piston down, mutuyok og half a revolution sa crankshaft. So one down and one up, that's one cycle. Bantay rang tuyok dre. Is how many times the crankshaft rotates within that minute. Two. So one complete rotation, duha ka stroke. So RPM is number of rotations sa crankshaft per minute. So that's revolutions per minute. At wide open throttle, the crankshaft may turn at 5,000 RPMs or a dizzyingly 83 times per second. Meanwhile, the piston traveled okay. up and down. Next, uh, this one. Moronisha. Kani, this is an older er, engine. Mo gyapon ha. Exos animation gyapon siya. This is an older engine. Carburador ni. Okay, this is the Venturi here. Okay, this is the air cleaner. Cut away version gyapon ni. This is air going in. This is fuel. Magmix sila sa carburador or carburetor. So what goes through the intake manifold is already a fuel air mixture. Kaganiha in a, in the first example in that video, what's being shown is a fuel injection type. So wala na siya carburetor pero ang fuel is being injected into the intake manifold. So again, tanawa process ha. Buto, exhaust, intake, compression power exhaust intake compression power exhaust intake compression power exhaust balik balik karena siya so air cleaner this is the carburetor um, this is the intake manifold this is the valve so the valve is being pushed by a cam okay this is a cam nagtoyok c a m ang cam is connected to the cam shaft cam shaft the cam shaft is connected to the crank shaft okay ang timing an niya is dictated by the timing gear or the timing chain or the timing belt depending on the engine okay so this is another cam it's like an, an egg shape now i hope i can sh show you another animation later on okay so Ang pagtuyok ani niya is perfectly timed pod sa tuyok sa atong crankshaft. Okay, kining brown nga uh, something din he. That's actually ang oil. Kung mag-change oil ta, i-open ni siya to drain that one. So, ang makina is not filled up with oil. Nara sa ubos. Inaala ni siya gamay din he nga musabod dire sa oil. Inig tuyok since it is very fast, as mentioned in the earlier video, it can go as high as 5,000 revolutions per minute or RPM. Iyang ipisik pisik dito sa palibot. Okay? Exhaust manifold, kini this is the muffler or ang tambutso para pagpahilom lang na siya basically. Alright? So, I think we're okay now. If you have questions, please do not hesitate to add comments for your questions. Again, wala IPM ha? Uh, I'll be giving another installment later on. So thank you. This is the second installment sa uh, sources of farm power na to. Okay? I'm saving this video now. Sakto-sakto, mga 30 minutes put.